Hello, welcome to Game Dev London. This is Diagnosis Game Dev. Uh, I'm Chris Payne, and uh, normally I would be playing um, uh, various indie games or or sometimes AAA games and um, analysing those for uh, the intricacies of the development. What I'm going to do today, though, uh, because uh, it's my slot and I'm going to be selfish, uh, is learning uh, Unreal Engine 5. I had a previous uh, play with this, just experimenting. Let me uh, let me show you uh, what we did last time. So last time um, uh, I streamed Unreal Engine 5, uh, I was just messing around just to see how Nanite worked, basically. Um, and it, it does work. It's, um, uh, it's really impressive. This... Uh, this is just a whole bunch of uh, photo scanned, incredibly detailed photo scanned rocks that I pulled from Mega Scans, which is now integrated into Unreal. Uh, laid a whole bunch of them out. Um, it's it's millions of millions and millions of polygons, uh, but the auto lodding system for Nanite just works uh, and does really well. Um, it's it's fascinating to experiment with because it uh, is a very different rendering uh, paradigm. So the the nanite rendered stuff draws in a completely separate path to everything else, um, and the two different systems uh, coexist because you still need uh, a more traditional rendering system to draw transparent or um, uh, rigged uh, items. So um, or things like the blow grass that blows in the wind, water that ripples. Um, because the nanite stuff only works with um, rigid geometry, it can move, so these rocks can tumble, but uh, but they can't deform um, because that would break the uh, um, the voxelization uh, that nanite relies on. Anyway, so enough uh, technical stuff. So what I'm going to do today is basically um, rip this scene apart and actually turn it into something a bit more useful. Um, I don't actually know how to do that yet, so I'm I'm going to be learning as I go. Oh, hello! Up, let's update the. Uh, okay, the project has been updated. I'm not sure what that did, um, but uh, oh yeah, and the other thing is uh, Lumen, um, the uh, dynamic global illumination system that Unreal Five has, uh, and you can see that works as well. You can see light bouncing into this dark part of the room uh, from these uh, crates, and if I uh, let's see if I actually run it. You'll see that um, that um, there we go. Uh, if I run it and then uh, blast some crates around, then you can, you can see the the light is uh, dynamically changing as these as these things move around. Uh, so it's pretty impressive stuff, basically. Um, uh, so where 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 to begin? Um, I genuinely have no uh, no clue where to start here. So what I was thinking was uh, I want to try something a bit more ambitious. So what if I try to make a proper open world uh, sort of game? Um, I am going to have a play with the terrain just quick. So there we go, have a landscape. Uh, I'm interested to see what sort of tools um, here we go, uh, ground ground grass. Um, so that appears to be the only material that we actually have on the uh, landscape at the moment. So I can reset that. Landscape materials override. This is gonna this is gonna um, take me a little while. Uh, enable edit layers. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind the undo redo. I can edit layers. How do I edit layers? Landscape whole material. Um, it looks like I can change the landscape material. Ground gravel, there we go. So that has now changed the entire landscape to use uh, this gravel texture. Um, but what I really want is to be able to get a bunch of different levels to, to paint with. Hmm. I'm not really going to be able to build much of a scene without un some understanding of how the terrain stuff is working, so I should probably have a look at a tutorial, but that's not going to make for a very interesting stream. Tell you what I'm going to do. 
Um, in that case, let's have a quick look at. Let's let's find some stuff um, in um, Mega Scans. Uh, if I can remember how to content browser. Uh, no, where is Mega Scans? Tools. This is going to be painful for those of you who are familiar with Unreal, but um, somewhere in here, maybe it wasn't here, maybe it was in the content. Quixel Bridge, there we go. It was under content. I had trouble finding that last time. Um, okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's maximise that. What have we got here? Um, have we got any ideas here that we would like to? Um, bring into the into the scene. Yeah, tell you what. Let's rather because I'm not terribly clear on how the landscape um, sculpting works. Let's try. Uh, let's f uh, hang on a minute. I'll just park that off screen for a moment. Let's uh, let's set the ground back to some sort of grass. Ground grass. Can I add a material? Add, uh, copy paste add to favorites. Landscape instance root component. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to do a tutorial to figure out exactly. Add a new component. Hmm. I'm going to have to do a tutorial to figure out exactly wh how this works. Do they count extra layers as as components of the? Um, of the landscape, uh, or what? So land there's one landscape count. Component count is 64. Resolution is quite low actually for a big landscape like this. Um, max level, level landscape. Enable edit layers. Default physics material, but that's just for physics. Landscape material. Landscape materials override add. So what if I okay, so that's the base material. Okay, maybe I don't need a tutorial. Um let's find let's try um earth. What have we got? No. Nope. Dirt. Dirty dirt. No. Nope. Okay, there was definitely gravel. Ground gravel. Okay, there we go. That has overridden everything. <clears throat> Oh, that's a material override for a particular level of detail or something? Mm, I'm not sure that that's doing what I think it's doing. Maybe I'll bin that. Landscape materials override. Okay. Um, painted layers per component. I think I need to do it as a component then. Uh, so, root component. Add a new component. That is adding a whole. That's just for general purpose components. Uh, let's just see if I can find. Is there a terrain? Fields, gameplay tasks, lights, magic leap, media, movement, navigation, Oculus hand, paper, oh, good grief. rendering, text, no. I was wondering if there was a, t a terrain layer conveniently there for me. Doesn't look like there is. Um, root component. That's just your basic default root component. Okay, um, I am going to um, go back to the original plan then. Um, I'm going to leave it on grass. Let's just make a nice little detailed nook over here. So I'm going to build it over here. I'll leave that stuff in the scene because it doesn't appear to be affecting performance in any way. Um, let's let's have. I mean, that looks that looks very deserty. Let's go for something that's rocky that, that we can have some vegetation um, around, though. So let's go full screen. Nature rock, sandstone, granite, mossy. Ah, mossy. Let's some, do something that's like kind of a bit more uh, lush, and we can cover it with vegetation. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna. I like the look of those mossy rocks, um, so let's um, let's cancel that. Where did it put 
Quixel Bridge. Here we go. Uh, I'll sign in. Okay, there we go. Right, Mossy Rock. So let's download that. Um, more Mossy Rocks. Let's download those as well. But, I mean, this is this is all just lovely. Um, Mossy Rock Face. Okay, so I'm going to download that as well. That'll be a good one to start with, and that mo Mossy Rock Face as well. Um, these things are going to be quite large, I suspect. Does it actually give you uh, any information about how la how actually large they are? That's a percentage, but you know how much space is this going to take up on my hard drive? Uh, open assembly. I should probably just jump to the Nordic Forest collection, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm really keen to know how big it is. Nordic Forest. Yes, lots and lots of nice tree trunks and such like. That's an interesting top tip for making uh, forests, is that actually you don't need every single tree to have a canopy. You can get away with quite a lot of the trees just being bare trunks and that just disappear up into the canopy. Um, uh, and that makes the forest look thicker down at ground level uh, and you still have a canopy over your head. But it, it reduces an awful lot of the um, uh, unnecessary, you know, unnecessary detail, really. Uh, let's see. It's taken a long time to download these. Uh, that's probably because they're very, very large. There we go. These are the ones that are already going. So that's twenty-four percent. That was the first one that I started. Can I? If I, oh no, if I highlight it, it just says. Will this tell me anything? No, copy a link. It genuinely just doesn't tell me. Mega scan settings, material blends, just doesn't say how big it is. I mean, realistically, if you're going to be doing Unreal 5 dev, then you are going to need terabytes and terabytes of data because the Nanite system does add quite a lot to the. Uh, size of the original asset. Some of these will be quick though, so for example mossy stone, mossy ground, there we go. Um, oh no I've got, I think I've got mossy ground, no? I'll download it. Um, that can't be that bit, um, slow because that's going to be what, 4k texture at best? Well a few 4k textures, there'll be a normal map and probably a um, specular uh, and then there's a bunch of related materials. Oh, come on, 5%. Welcome to Chris's stream of downloading enormous assets. Uh, but this stuff is, is gold. I mean, like that sort of thing, forest roots, that's in so incredibly hard to model and make it look good. Um, and yet, like, Tree roots are tree root trees and rocks are trees and rocks and I guess like if every game uses this exact same set of Nordic forest rocks, then they're going to start to look a little bit familiar. But you would hope that um, you know there is more to most games than just the forest because at the end of the day, um, trees and rocks are trees and rocks and they're not interesting for gameplay. They're great filler background setting the scene um, but you want the actual excuse me the actual gameplay to um, even if it's happening in a forest um, to bring something uh, a bit fresher um, this may just be really slow because I've started downloading so many of them at once okay in the meantime while those are downloading I'm just going to move them off to my, my spare screen let's um, Let's have a look. Tell you what, if I if I sculpt um, this terrain, when once I've got the forest, the rock, the, the mossy ground, I'll I'll use the uh, the mossy ground. Um, how I did figure out how to sculpt it. Oh boy, here we go. Now I can't even figure out how to do how to do this. 
focus selected oh here we go I have to put it into landscape editing mode here we go this is probably where I need to actually um, paint the um, right let's just zoom out up here a bit Let's raise the, the, the edge of the landscape a little bit. Oh, that's annoying that you can't you can't paint off the edge of the landscape. It just it just stops dead if you try and move the cursor off the end. So there that's um oh, I am still struggling with the um camera controls uh, for Unreal. Let's just there we go. So this is some, some bog standard um painting um there we go um this is some bog standard painting uh, i'm just using the like the this this ordinary brush uh i would hope that let's see smooth flatten noise uh, not sure what that's not sure that's what i wanted uh, sculpt paint. I was hoping to find some different brushes alpha brush, pattern brush. Okay, uh, that's not the pattern that I wanted, but oh, I see, and I can pick a different texture. What have we got? Uh, okay, so some of oh, it's prompting me to like. I'm going to click the tutorial. Here we, here we go. Um, yes. Uh, if you do not, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, landscape and its components. Yeah, I can import a height map from a file. That might be worth having a go at, actually. Um, material input allows you to assign a material to your landscape, uh, and then you can position it. Section size is for culling. So now this is the interesting thing: is that um, Unreal's landscapes are automatically um, loaded and sliced and loaded. Um, I mean, Unity's landscape is is loaded as well, but Unreal has this full sort of like um, system for chunking the entire level and all of its contents, uh, which is pretty smart. Um, I am going to need, I reckon, um, uh, I'm going to need to learn about that, but probably offline. Um, oh, good grief. This is telling me an awful lot of stuff that isn't really what I want to see right now. Uh, fill world, there we go, fill world button. You can expand the landscape to fill in more. That is actually really good because um, being able to just extend the landscape if you need a bit more in that direction is such a fantastic feature for usability. Um, yeah, I've got a landscape actor, landscape sculpting mode, yeah, yeah. Process of sculpting landscape, sculpt mode, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Um, what I really wanted was to be able to stamp like nicely eroded landscape sculpts onto the landscape. Um, let's go to the landscape. Oh no, that's taken me to a website. Uh, it's not telling me the. Um, uh, let's exit that tutorial. Here we go. So you can. Oh look, you can see which part of it. I'm editing currently. That's interesting. Why has it, why is it giving me that now? Thought I'm now painting smooth flat and noise. Oh, right, I'm painting rather than so that's sculpting, which is what I was doing before, which gives you so I can create nice like lumpy stuff. But what I really want, let's get down in here. Oh, okay. It's um, it is bigger than I imagined. Let's um, let's just rise up here. This wants to be a little bit um, uneven. Can I make it smaller? 
brush size, there we go. Oh, come on. There we are. Just want to make it a little bit lumpy. Uh, uh, what's that look like from ground level? A little bit more uneven. Uh, that'll do, okay. Um, and then, whoops. Let's just um, raise the outer edges up a lot more. Uh, let's go with a bigger, bigger brush size. Because what we want here is the um, Tell you what, I might actually do um, is see if I can find. Um, there's a plugin that I've got my eye on. Um, let's have a quick look at the content. Uh, content, open marketplace. Here we go. I'm going to have a quick look at a, uh, at a particular plugin that I've um, heard of. Okay, so that's that's created uh, a bunch of um, a bit of a space that we, I can start to um, fill in with. Um, interesting stuff. Um, let's go back to bridge. What have, what have I downloaded? Let's have a look. Um, oh my god, it's still taking its time. Right, Mossy Rocks is 99% done. Let's have a quick look at that. Any minute now. Uh, yeah, autosave can happen, I will allow it. How do I add uh, new layers then? Um, layer hard map. If I go to paint, edit layers. Right, well, this is grass. Collapse all, expand all. Can I add a layer? For heaven's sake, how hard is it to add a layer? It's really only allowing me to like mess with one. I'm I'm gonna have to leave the tutorial. I think. Right here we go. Uh, my mossy rocks are downloaded. Let's add them to the project. Um, and that one add. Um, oh sorry, I'll just show. Let me bring that on screen. Sorry, using my second desktop out of um, habit. So, um, key thing that you want to do once you've downloaded it in Quixel Bridge, uh, you you want to set it to Nanite for UE5. Um, that will, um, and then add it to the project. Uh, oh God, Nordic Forest is fine. Um, so yeah, so there is so much stuff here. Pretty much any natural environment, you've got everything you could want, really. Um, is there a way that I can quickly find... There we go, the little ticks are the ones that I've already got. So... I'll see what if I add that to the project. Successfully exported. Not sure. Oh, uh, and I want that one. I want that uh, highest quality. Yeah, add that to the project. Successfully exported one asset. Okay, so now, can I, looking at grass, create? Oh, there we go. Edit layers. Create. How did I miss that before? Right. Um, so layer one. We're, we're going to call this mossy. Landscape editor waiting for edit layer resources to be ready. That's in interesting. Um, like I said last time, Epic's entire philosophy with the editor is to if if you need to, if if you need to make the player the user wait, then it just allows you to continue doing other things in the editor and it does stuff in the background until it's good and ready. And then it will it will allow you to do it. Um, 
So I created another layer. I have. I'm not sure if these are terrain layers or some other sort of layer. Um, I'm slightly confused there because. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'm not certain what I'm doing there. Okay, um, right, let's... The terrain is really going to um, require... Oh god, how long is this going to take? I should have started on it so that I had a bunch of assets um, in place, but then you wouldn't have seen me struggle with um, figuring out how to do things. Um, is there anything else here that I, I want to down... I mean, there's almost all of this stuff I would like to download. Um, are there any like large rocks that we can use for mossy embankment? That sounds like it's good for creating a, an enclosed space. Um, if it's an enclosed space, you see, then um, I can dress a small area and don't have to like make it all enormous. Mossy ground. I think I want that as well. Probably I should make a little lake area, actually, um, in the terrain, so that we can see what, um, so we can get water interacting with this stuff. Um, uh, it's, it does take a while to download them all. Uh, but what I should have now is, um, let's, have, where's my content browser? Here we go, mega scans, 3D assets. Right. Um, Mossy rock face. That is uh, texture, 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 static mesh, material instance. I think Aha, right, here we go. There we have um a mossy rock face. Let's go back to activate editing mode. Right. Let's turn that round so that we've got some light on it. There we go. So there is a, an incredibly detailed mega scan of a mossy rock. Um, so that I think is going to be a great start for like building up. Um, a little enclosed area. Probably can't repeat too many of those. Um, right. Right, so that boiled a bit. Um, because if I put two of those side by side, um, then they are, they, obviously you can see the repeats, but I could probably put two of them um, far enough apart that, you, that they're not obviously um, the same. Let's make this into a sort of like an S-shaped uh, gorge because that seems like it, it will be the um, simplest environment to um, uh, to make. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, um, where is my the assets? Let's, uh, let's get some mossy rocks in there. Um, all these more mossy rocks. Uh huh. Oh, beach. Nordic beach rock formation. That looks like it's not downloaded yet. It doesn't seem to be ready. Nordic beach rocks. Uh, yeah, also not ready. Uh, so that's. Oh, and a cracked boulder. Oh, that's the one that I already had. So that's that's that giant one uh, that I had before. Um, that seems a bit on the large side, but you know we can always scale it down um, to a reasonable um, reasonable size. Let's. It's a bit tricky having so few assets to um, to work with at this point. 
obviously there's masses in the store but I've got to wait for those th things to download I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that I don't think that fits in in this scene that I'm um, trying to make uh, at all um, let's let's move this around and uh, try to get it into the into the right general uh, area so if I put that put that over here the fun fun part of these uh, of of dressing a scene is is always trying to get these um, this stuff to um, blend nicely with the um, with the terrain. Um, uh, you can see that there is is not oh, it's a little bit a little bit twitchy on the old um, uh, camera movement there. Is there a no? So you can see that that doesn't look great where they overlap. There's a whole bunch of different solutions to blending those um, edges in. There's um, materials that will handle the blend, or you can create sort of like patch, sort of like skirt patches of geometry that contain a blend just to cover the join. Um, the classic is just covering the joins with grass and shrubbery. Uh, which I haven't downloaded any of yet, actually, uh, and I probably should because um, it, it it's it's great for. Um, let's uh, let's just uh, put it that way round. That's slightly annoying. That the, the um, it seems to always put the maybe it's the side that I was on it's difficult when I'm on over uh, on this side of the handle it's very difficult to click on the horizontal only handle but you can it is doable so there we go right and that's now that's a little bit too far into the ground I'm fairly certain that um, one of these oh oh or I can control click on the up axis and then that oh no I'm well, not sure what's going on there it's normal click. We'll move it up and down in steps. I'm trying to do a, f uh, a fine grade. Oh, Alt drag will actually duplicate it. That's great, but I'll move that out of the way for the moment. I do want this one. Uh, is it shift drag. That's neat. It drags the camera with it, but it's still going in uh, in increments. Do I need to just uh, turn off the grid snap? Yeah, there we go. So, notice there's a bit of a blur as I move. I don't know if that's coming across on Twitch, but there's a bit of a blur as I move that up and down. That's, um, I think, a feature of the um, either Lumen or the uh, um, motion blur. In fact, I might turn off motion blur if I can find it in the scene. Um, where is my scene hierarchy? world outline I should be in here somewhere if I just drag that down drag that down somewhere in here oh god that's all my uh, rock rose Rend atmospheric fog post process volume there we go um, post process volume do you know what I'm gonna move the world outliner over here and shrink that down a bit oh, that's interesting um, right I, I, this is now just uh, arranged a bit more closer to unity which is what I'm familiar with which is why I'm struggling so much with this one um, so uh, now I've turned off yeah I, I just want to get rid of the the motion blur that is creating a delay when I move this um, so that was post process volume show me the the whole thing uh, da, 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 da. post process volume settings somewhere in here motion blur there we go um, motion blur um, oh, oh thank you Motion blur is somewhere in here. Sorry, I thought I found it there for a moment. I was distracted. 
There it is, motion blur. But that's off. Where's it getting the motion blur settings from? Light source. Post process volume. It must be in here somewhere global. All of this stuff seems to be turned off by default. Okay, tell you what, maybe the default settings are is using motion blur unless um, I override it. So if I crank the motion blur up a bit more, so that make it. I'm not sure. Didn't seem to make it any worse. Um, let's try instead turning motion blur all the way down. No, it's still doing it. That is properly confusing. Okay, so I, I shall ignore that then for the moment, uh, and we'll just get this sort of like embedded just enough into the ground that um, we can we can see what's going on there, and then we'll we'll lump it over here. There we go. So um, and I, I'm going to put this one um, over here. Uh, turn it around so that it doesn't look exactly the same. Drop it down, and we'll move that uh, just over there and down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so. Um, what other assets have we got now? Nordic Beach Rock Formation. That's still going. That's still going. Unless it's already down. Maybe that one isn't a nanite object. Let's bring that over there. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to need some um, of the bigger assets. I don't think that sits too well uh, in there. Or we could build up, we could sculpt the landscape up to create a bit of a cliff for them to sit against. Um, Three mega scans, 3D assets, surfaces. I do have mossy ground surface that has downloaded. Nordic beach, that, that one, beach rock formation. And that one is, that looks like a completely different colour of rock, so I'm just going to delete that. Um, that's that's not really good to us. Um, uh, I mean, in, in all honesty, that one's a little bit out of, out of place. Um, but it's one of the few assets that I've actually got downloaded. Let's go and have a let's go and set a few more downloading. Um, here we go. Um, big one. Oh, mossy embankment. That's that's downloaded. So, oh, no, I've added that. Mossy embankment. Add that. Um. Uh, there we go. Let's. What's the embankment? Taking a little while to to be ready. Yeah, waiting for static meshes to be ready. Sorry, I tried to drag that in before it was fully imported. Uh, I'm wasting a lot of time on really, really uh, naughty stuff uh, here. Okay, what, what it's done there is because I tried to drag it in, um, Unreal has gone, oh, you actually want to use this, I'm going to just block and wait for you. So it is now telling me that I can't do what I uh, attempted to do, um, because it's not ready. And it has now locked me out of the editor, uh, so that's not great. Okay, well, I shall give it a... Well, I'm just going to have to wait for it, um, really. Let's just have a look and see if any of the other windows are accessible. Nope. No. Um, well, at the very least, I can 
bring oh no that one's accessible um I'm offline I'm emphatically not offline oh it it's because it was busy there we go building mesh distance fields right it's it's doing the next phase of the um so there is my mossy embankment so if I I love that even though it's still not fully imported it lets me place it in in the level now it's got a material there we go um oh the camera movement is is there an adjust, adjustable speed for the uh, for the camera option in preferences somewhere uh to uh file Sure, there it is. Editor preferences. Here we go. Uh, all settings global. Level editor. Miscellaneous. Camera speed. Editing sound levels. Screenshots. Nope. Uh, appearance. Experimental global. Mm. Tools. AI. Viewports. Oh, here we go. Viewports. Look and feel. Um, there's a lot of controls. Here we go. Landscape editor control type. Mouse sensitivity. Okay, so I can drop the mouse sensitivity down to half. Um, scroll gesture direction for. Ooh. Let's just let me just have a oh, have a quick uh, look at, at this because that might mean dragging. I'm dragging the camera there. Can I set that to drag to standard? That does not. That does not change the setting that I was thinking. So I'm going to leave it on the use system setting. Okay, so this thing uh, let's oh god. I mean that would make that would work pretty well for the opposite side of the um, uh, of the river. So uh, let's move it over in front of that one. Actually no, let's just, let's just build it up right here. And we'll drop it down slightly into the into the ground. We're on a bit of a slope here. I'm going about this in a really funny way. This is what I get for trying to do an art RT stream when I'm not an artist. But then you know, the whole point of this is like I wanted to learn to get a bit more familiar with UE5, um, and um, I have a streaming slot to fill also, so I'm going to combine the two. Um, okay, here we go. So this this could start to make quite a nice little gorge once I've got a bit more uh, stuff in there. Let's go to uh, that's my co existing content browser. Where is uh, here we go? We've got have we got a big old cliff that that's an embankment mossy rocks let's download that oh mossy rock add that to the project don't think that's in there yet it would be nice if it would tell you if it was already in your project to be honest, oh, there's a swamp water material that um, I'm going to download. Right, so let's let's now add um, create a shapes. Here we go. Uh, create a plane. There we are. Oh, grabbed the wrong handle. Oh, damn it. 
really struggling with uh, some of the user interface uh, choices in Unreal. It's just because I'm used to uh, Unity. Where did that flipping plane go? I think I moved it under the ground and now I've lost it. Um, arena geometry. It must be under here somewhere. Cubes. Arena. No, arena. No. That's the arena, I think, is the little built up area. Plane. Oh, there it is. Plane. That's what I was after. Yeah, there it is. Uh, right, and then if I grab that, I can bring it over here. Okay, and then we'll scale that up to um, to be big. Uh, and then once we've got that, uh, we've got mossy ground, another mossy ground. So if I were to put this mossy ground material on on the plane. Is that going to work? No. I wonder why. Yes, it's a mesh materials. There we go. Right, why can't I just drag that in there? I can! There we go. Um, so that is giving me a Very detailed, but slight, a little bit more specular than I would like. Um, it looks very slightly shiny, which seems a bit odd. Could be just looking a bit weird because it's on a com an almost completely flat surface. Oh, also. I have a suspicion that it looks weird because I have scaled up this plane enormously and that does not work too well. Let's let's put it back down to a more normal size. Yeah, that material scaled up with the plane. That's the problem. That's why it looked so weird. Um, I mean, really what I want is the... Um, uh, let's find it. What I want is that watery, um, that water one anyway. There we go, 95%, 96, 97. Yeah, when I'm downloading nothing else, it works quite well. Let's add that to the project. Pops up in here. Shouldn't take very long for that to load. Um, here, yeah, let me show you what it's doing. This is the uh, content browser, so this shows me the stuff that's in the project. So I've got these other two materials that are in there and fully imported this one appears to be still importing and it, like, it's done those actually that might be that might be done now so if I go to the plane I'm going to just move that off screen um, and drag swamp water onto the onto there now we have swamp water that immediately looks better let's drop it into let's drop it to about that height Um, I really like that. Uh, that's nice. Okay, so uh, let's also then sculpt the terrain a little bit. Let's go into terrain sculpt mode. Oh, good grief. That brush size is ridiculous. Um, and then I want to... Oh, smooth. No, I want it on sculpt. What do I do to lower it? Not control click. Hey, shift click. There we go. Right, here we go. Let's make the um, brush size much smaller and then we can go. Yeah, there we go. Right, now we're talking. So this is starting to look kind of cool. Um, I think there must be a way, actually, 
if I go back to normal view and get this plane, there must be a way of adjusting the material repeat um, on it. Uh, so if I make that, if I make it really enormous, then we have like really low resolution textures on the surface there. But uh, how do I? Browse, use, yeah. How do I adjust virtual texture? Not sure exactly what that is. Material parameters, here we go. No? Okay. Material parameter caching. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah, there's so many features in here, it take ages to like figure them all out. Um, and really that's not a very entertaining stream but there must be some way that I can go in here maybe I can just modify the uh, material itself I mean that looks uh, lovely and all but how do I uh, can, can I, is there a way that I can adjust the scale of the UVs? It must be in here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Oh, never mind. Um, I'll just... Given that I don't know how to do it, I'm just going to stick with a smaller... Um, smaller water surface, and then it'll look okay. Okay, so... Um, that immediately looks kind of cute. Uh, what have we got? Rock formation, rock formation, uh, mossy rocks. Uh, those ones that I've already put in. Apparently not. Oh yeah, no, it is one that I've already put in. Um, but I'm going to turn it round so that you probably won't notice. Probably. There we go, and then we want to make sure that that dips into the water. There we go. You can do a lot to disguise repetition by, um, you know, having things partly into, um, partly into walls or turned around to a different rotation and such like. I'm not doing a very good job of um, interlocking these, am I though? There we go, that needs to be a bit lower, and then that needs to be... Okay, let's, let's use that rock there. <laughs> you see what I've done there? I've used, uh, I've used this rock here to block the open end of this um, uh, this thing um, and that has given me a, a rock in the middle of the stream um, and you can, there's no way you can see that that rock is the same as that rock unless you actually go around and compare them looking at it from a distance and so on um, uh, let's see what else uh, have I downloaded rock face there, there's another rock Mossy rock face. Where's, how big is this one? Ooh, look. Okay, that's a huge one. So let's rotate. First off, rotate that that way. Um, and we'll park it right up next to that one. Uh, and we'll lower it just into the into that water. Uh, and just join that up there. That's not a very um, good join though, is it? Because it's blindingly obvious that there's a seam there. Uh, if I move it a little bit further this way... There we go. That's more like it. I mean, it's still a bit of a seam, but it's not. it's just not obvious. Um, I think these are looking just too wrong for the setting. Um, I'm gonna. Ooh. 
Let's uh, alt drag that away. Turn that one round. Uh, let's bring it over this way. We'll merge that in a similar sort of manner. Hmm. There we go. There you go. That is a remarkably good seam. The fact that these are such high detail meshes really helps with um, blending the, the seams because you end up, when you overlap them, instead of getting some sort of like ugly straight line seams, that, which is what you would get if it was a, a low polygon surface with normal maps, you would get straight line seams that betrayed the fact that the detail is all in the normal map. But the detail here is actually in the geometry uh, so you end up with like a really crinkly, I can't see the, the the edge from one object to the other there. You get a really nice kind of crinkly boundary that, that is quite nicely disguised. Um, uh, there's another mossy embankment here. Uh, is that... Oh, okay, it's, it's, it's that small one. Um, I'm going to spin that round. Put it over here. Oh god. Um. Oh, where's my... Um. Oh, it's here, sorry. I was looking up on this bar and it's actually this bar that I wanted. That's why I, I want to turn that off. Um. There we go, so that I can fine-tune fine-tune that one um, and raise it up to about there and then push it back over that away hmm not sure that looks great to be honest is that poking yeah the edge of that is poking out the water so I think I might need to um, lower that down that's the only downside of um, mega scans as well is that you tend to end up with like funny shaped fragments of real world ground that don't conveniently dip down into the ground if that had been built by an artist i'm fairly confident they would have made sure that the outer perimeter of it was all down at the same at the same level so that um when you butt lots of them together um they would all have kind of like nice kind of like curved uh, edges so that you could intersect them um, this just stops where the where the scan stopped and, ah, and I'm really struggling with the camera good grief is it yeah it is that one so options are I, let me try rotating it a little bit until it dips into the water there we go does that still... oh god... the camera is still far too twitchy um, oh, okay. I've got to figure out how to turn... how to slow the camera down so that's snapping objects, perspective lit show field of view, screen percentage just don't know where it happens to be Um, oh, sorry, uh, Worm Juice, I've only just noticed your uh, comments, sorry. Um, yes, uh, is it Lumen, the um, uh, the ghosting? I know that the lighting uh, lags, but I didn't think that the actual geometry would lag. Uh, but, okay, so this is it's beginning to um, look quite... Uh, pretty. I need something at the end of, uh, of this really. I said I was going to make it S-shaped and I haven't. I've made it dead straight. So um, let's let's see what we can do about um, moving. Let's, first off let's move uh, this one. Oh good grief. Let's move this one um, over here and lower it down a little bit. There we go. Um, and then this we can rotate a bit 
and then we'll bring it up here and then we're going to have a more obvious join because the lighting has, has changed on it if I rotate this one a bit though uh, this one is genuinely darker um, and we'll pull that up there make sure it's into the water and then this one I mean it I think it's just a visible scene because it, there's just more exposed rock there and it's a, and it's genuinely a different color of rock which isn't ideal um ah well an artist would know how to fix that um for my part right I'm now going to uh, I'm just going to uh copy that oh god control z uh it's alt to make a copy there we go and then we'll turn that one round uh, let's bung that there. Oh, I may have dumped it too much into the ground. That's all right. Mesh it onto that one. Does that join? Okay, that's too far forward. Let's. Oh, trying to mesh that is going to be a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Let's tilt it forward a little bit and then overlap it a bit. Yeah. I think that might have to do. Um, and then we'll just bring this one over here a bit more. Raise it up slightly. Not that much. I still want it to be in un, just under the edges of it, just under the water. There we go. I'll get in a little bit close and drop that down. Okay, there we go. So I love being able to edit all this like photorealistic, photorealistic nonsense just live, and it just looks amazing. It's um. This is one of the reasons that I'm keen to sort of like educate myself on how to how to make this stuff um, uh, work because you get such instantly good results off of it. I'm just going to make the water a bit bigger again. Um, uh, let's move it that away. So we've got some water going off into the distance. Um, I'm just going to have a look for some other stuff that I might have downloaded in Bankment, rock, Mossy Rock Face, that's what I've been using, that's another rocks, rocks, beach rock, beach rock. I, I need to add some more of the things that I downloaded um, into the into the scene I think. Um, bridge. Um, I'm gonna put, let's have a quick look for ah Mossy Embankment. I don't think Put that in the scene yet? Oh no, I did. It's already in the scene. Okay. Let's download those. I'll see rock face. Yeah, that would be good. Download that as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to put that on the other screen and come back to it. In the meantime, um, let's see what I can do with duplicating. So that needs to be a bit more into the water. Um, let's uh, let's make a copy of that over here. Turn it round a bit. Maybe tilt it, lift it up. I mean, since this is a like a bank. I can I can get away with only putting one edge in the water. Oh. There we go. I mean, can you imagine what a proper artist could do with this? Really? Let's have another um, one of these so that we can actually start to get this gorge looking gorgeous. It's a terrible pun. Um, 
Right, let's see if I can make that mesh up properly. Okay, that's about the right. That's about the the edge, but I think that I want to. Um, yeah, I want to rotate this a bit more, and then bring match it up. How's that looking? Uh, passable actually for not an artist. Yeah, that's starting to look kind of cool. Um, let's uh, oh that one. There we go, that's what I want. Uh, and then we'll rotate that all the way round. Mm. Yeah, all the way round. Uh, give it a bit of a tilt. Drop it into the water. And then move it uh, back over here. A bit more of a rotate there. I think this one. I've just dropped it on. I'm going to move. Uh, there we go. I'm going to move that into the in, into the gap there. Drop lower that down a bit. Move it over there. There we go. It just fills a little bit of space. Oh, now you, you can't even you can barely see it because it's under the water. Let's just lift it up then. and tilt it slightly so that the edge stays under the water okay there we go right so that's beginning to look kinda cool um, I need more more assets basically uh, I'm not going to make be able to make this scene with so few assets um, I mean, it's going to be just more of the same uh, from this point, I think. Um, but let's see if I can um, at least get it to a point where it looks sort of finished. Um, so at least I can get a nice view looking looking down that away. Um, yeah, that should be easy enough. Uh, so what I might do is. Uh, change the ground grass to mossy uh, mega scans surfaces mossy ground it already exists An object of class material instance concept already exists in I'm material instance constant. It's creating a new material instance. Why is it creating a material instance? Uh, okay, I'm going to say yes to delete the old one. And then there we go, and then it's put in. So now my entire terrain should be, in a moment when it finishes importing, should be a bit more in keeping with the the rest of this stuff. What's it doing? How long does it take to import a texture? I think I might have um, might have got that wrong. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, oh, okay, that is not a repeating. Oh no, that's the wrong texture. That's the texture off the um, mossy embankment um, object, which is why it doesn't it doesn't tile. It's not intended for the terrain. That, however, does sort of tile, sort of, but not very well. I think that that is designed for smaller patches. Let's try. I think I broke my um, 
example material. I'll download some more. Um, let's uh, let's get the um, Quixel Bridge back. Uh, let's add that to the project if that's downloaded. Mossy ground. Did I add that? I think I added that. See rocks, pretty sure they're in. That one's in. Uh, if I got anything that I downloaded and didn't didn't actually add to the project. Mossy ground, that's in mossy rocks. Oh, let me add those just in case. I think they might already be in there. I'll see embankment is probably a bit smaller than I what they, than I actually want it. Uh, these look like they're sort of beach rocks. What I want is some big chunky rocks that I can use to. Um, that's an embankment. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go down to the big singular rocks. Mossy mound. Let's download that and that. Is that a big one? You don't, you never know what size they're going to turn up in the game. That looks pretty big. I'm going to download that as well and we'll see what... Um, okay, let's get rid of bridge. Um, honestly, I'm I'm not overly impressed with the, the look of that particular texture. I think I broke something. So... Uh, Oh lordy, now what have I done? Mossy ground has turned all sort of glossy. Control Z. Control Z. Ground grass, is that going to reload now? Apparently it is not. Nope. Okay, struggling with the um still struggling with the landscape it seems. Don't know how to put that back to what if I change it to gravel? Okay, that worked. What if I change it back to gr ground moss? That's the one I think I. Oh no, that worked. Okay, there we go. So now we have we have a, a slightly sort of mossier um, ground. That's still not great though, is it? Um, it needs properly painting so that my like, vertical sides look like rock uh, and so on. Uh, but in the meantime, let's check Quixel Bridge. See if I've got anything new. Uh, it's just taking a while to get these new ones. Okay, um, in that case, I'm gonna just continue working with um, the ones I've got. So if I duplicate that, uh, and then because I'm I'm making an identical copy, what I can do is just um, give it a rotate. Quite a lot of a rotate, I reckon. Um, and then drop it right down. So that it's less obvious that it is a repeat. Um, I mean that join is pretty bad actually. Oh god, if I could just get the camera where I wanted it. Uh, let's just um, slip that in there. There we go. Um, yeah, you kind of want if you're joining things that like separate um, objects, you kind of want to just get the uh, the space where they're joining to be as close a match as possible in terms of like the surface angle and everything. 
that looks um, that looks reasonably um, reasonably good. Not not an obvious obvious uh, repeat. Let's have a go at one of these difficult ones that are kind of a bit more. because uh, they're fully a different colour because they've got so much moss on them um, scale also, changing the scale helps disguise repeats as well but um, right, that's... right, this is a lot mossier than the one next to it unfortunately so um, let's try, there we go, if I can get that patch that's less mossy to line up um, with the with the other one, there we go. That's a reasonably disguised join, but we just have a very sort of like straight edge there, which I think I'll have to disguise with some rocks or something. But uh, how's that looking now? At least we've got a view over there. Um, I think what I could do with now is sort of like building that up a bit and getting some um probably oh i've had i have had a thought for how to make this um uh c work let's scale it down again to the size that actually um looks good right here we go uh I'm just gonna tile it for the purposes of staging a single screenshot. We're going to put. I'm going to put that one there, and then I'm going to put uh, another one just over there. Minimise the overlap. Um, that might actually do. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, let's um let's hide that ugly terrain with some trees. Let's let's go into um I'm still at seventy percent on the uh, Quixel Bridge there. Oh <laughs> I'm out of, running out of disk space. Okay. Probably um probably that is a good time to um, wrap the stream up then because I'm going to have to go and like, shuffle a bunch of disk space now um, and I've been on for an hour and hour and a quarter so um, let's just close that um, it's not it's not going to work I'm going to um, screenshot uh, this uh, what I will do actually is just flatten that away and then I can get at least a, like a one looking good looking screenshot. So let's go back into sculpt mode um, and flatten and make the brush bigger, big brush. Oh God, no! There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, and then back in here. There we go. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look great without any trees and stuff to dress it, but um, I'm going to screen capture, just a straight screen capture out of the editor. Um, I'll just leave, there we go. Right, I have screen captured out of the editor, it looks good. Right, um, I'm going to call that. Um, I'm going to call that a day um, for the moment. Um, thank you very much for for watching and uh, being patient with my uh, clumsy um, uh, uh, learn learning process. Um, if you uh, want to uh, do more, um, see more stuff, game dev stuff. Oh, sorry, I'm my head's full of UE four five stuff now. If you want to see more Game Dev stuff, please uh, go to gamedev.london. You can find links to our podcasts there and our Discord, where there's a um, thriving community of uh, other game devs um, who are all doing things like trying to get their heads around UE5 and stupid things like that. So, um, until next week, um, have fun. Stay safe. Thank you very much. <laughs>